My favorite saying when it comes to digital marketing is if you are guessing, you've done something wrong. You should absolutely never be guessing regardless of what digital platform or channel you are running ads on. So my goal for today is to show you how to remove all the guesswork by leveraging digital market research strategies and tactics. I'm just gonna let you know now, I am saving the best strategy for last. So the first digital market research tactic I wanna show you relates to social media advertising, Facebook and Instagram. As you can see, I'm just on the Casper Facebook page and you don't even need a tool to do this. I'm gonna scroll down a little and click page transparency, see more. Then I'm gonna click go to ad library. Now, thanks to the Cambridge Analytica scandal, anyone can see all the ads that every single Facebook page and business are currently running. So presently, Casper's running approximately 100 different ads, and you can see that here. You can see are they running on Facebook or Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. You can click through and play the videos. Now, what's so exciting about this is, again, you do not need a tool to do this. So if you are either currently running a paid social campaign, or if you are thinking about running a paid social campaign, a great first step is to see what the competition is doing. And what you're looking for is themes. If there are themes across competitors or within a competitor, it's likely a good sign that it's working. And that's a great place to start your paid social activities. The next digital market research strategy I wanna show you relates to paid advertising on Google Ads or Google AdWords, so paid search ads. I'm using a tool, SEMrush. I'll include some free tools, but I do recommend subscribing to this tool if you want to do some in-depth uh, paid search research. And what I've done, I've just entered in a URL, just picked a random one. And as we can see, they're running a lot of paid search traffic and spending a decent amount of money on it. Now, I wouldn't focus so much on the total traffic cost because that is not always terribly reliable. But what I am interested in is what keywords is this uh, brand or business bidding on? And we can easily see that here. So as we look, we can see they're bidding on a number of brand related terms. They're also bidding on competitor related terms. And what's really interesting here is if we mouse on over the ad portion, we can actually see what that ad looks like. So if you're thinking about running a paid search strategy, whether you're optimizing one or getting one started, a great first place to start is to see what keywords are your competitors currently bidding on and how are they writing their ads? Again, if you're seeing similarities across the competitive landscape, it's a strong sign that you should probably consider this keyword within your paid search campaign and strategy. The next strategy I wanna show you relates to organic search, what people are searching on Google. And I'm using a tool named Ahrefs. It is by far my favorite organic search and keyword research tool. I'll include some free tools in the description, but I highly recommend subscribing to this tool if you do plan on doing some in-depth keyword research. In this example, I've just typed in the word workout, and what's so great is I can see how many times a month it's searched, I can see how that's trended over time. I also can get a sense of difficulty and by country, how often is this term searched? But what I'm most interested in is what terms are being searched that are related to this initial keyword, workout. So as an example, I can see the top questions are what to eat before a workout, what to eat after a workout, what's the best time to work out, et cetera, et cetera. So I really like this tool because it gives me a really great sense of what consumers are actually searching on Google and online. And the better I understand that, I can use that data to inform product page copy. I can use that data to inform my article strategy, my video strategy, and the list goes on. And of course, whenever we're talking keyword research, we're really interested in seeing what's the competition doing. So if this brand here is a competitor uh, to our brand, I'm curious first and foremost, how has their organic search traffic trended over time? Yes, you can see that. You can actually see every single keyword that they're currently ranking for. They're ranked for over 70,000 keywords. And then we've got my favorite view here, top pages. And this shows the top keyword that each one of these particular pages is ranking for. So we can see here they have a blog and it's ranking for the term lip scrub recipe. 1800 searches a month and they are in position one. So why is this important to us? Whether you're thinking about copywriting, product page optimization, things of that nature, whether you're thinking content strategy, there is no need to guess. You can see every single term that is being searched online. You can see all the questions related to that term. And you can also see every single term that your competition is ranking for. So with all of that data combined, you can develop a very data-driven content and SEO strategy. And again, you should never be guessing. And as mentioned, I saved my favorite for last. That's Amazon digital market research. So I'm just on amazon.com. I typed in vitamin C serum. 
I'm gonna pull up my Jungle Scout Chrome extension tool. And this tool is amazing. It does cost money. With Amazon, you're gonna to have to pay money for some of these tools. There are free tools, but they're not very good, so I can't recommend them. And I can actually see how much revenue each one of these products is doing per month. 161,000, 458,000, et cetera, et cetera. You can do this by keyword. You can do this by brand. So whether you're trying to determine uh, total addressable market, whether you're trying to do competitor research to see how is a competitor doing in relation to how you're doing. So you can do all of that on Amazon and it's amazing. But using another tool, Helium 10, which I'll show for just a second, I can actually take one of the ASINs that showed up or SKU, whatever you want to call it, and I can actually see this product I want to see every single keyword that they are ranking for organically. So for the term best vitamin C serums, which is searched 397 times a month on Amazon, I can see that they are currently in organic rank position one. So they're ranking number one when you search that term. But I can also see that they're bidding on that term. But when they bid on that term, they are only showing up in position number 10. So again, there are a number of tools and they do cost money here, but it, whether you are thinking about an Amazon strategy, a D2C strategy, it does not matter. You can use these different tools to understand how much every product is making on Amazon. You can see every single keyword they're ranking for organically, how many times a month that keyword is searched. You can see every single term that each product is bidding on. So instead of guessing, making assumptions, reading an article, dive into the data and let that inform your strategy. So to go back to my favorite digital marketing saying, if you're guessing you've done something wrong, as you can see, there's an immense amount of data available from what our competition is doing to what consumers are doing online. And if you are not conducting digital market research and using that research to inform your digital marketing strategy, I can guarantee you're leaving a lot on the table.